start with a slip knot and chain 19 Start with a multiple of 3 and chain 1 extra for the turning chain. Next round, 1 double crochet in the second chain from the hook, this one. And 1 double crochet in each and every stitch. Once you reach the end to make the turning chain, chain 2, insert your hook in the first chain, this one, pull up a loop, turn your work, insert your hook in the first stitch and pull up a loop, pull through first two loops and finalize the second two loops. This is one double crochet made and the turning chain made. You have already made one double crochet, in the next stitch make one front post double crochet. One double crochet each in the next two stitches. This one. This is the stitch of the front post double crochet. And this is the next stitch. Now repeat this pattern. One front post double crochet in the next stitch. And one double crochet each in the next two stitches. You will have one stitch left at the end, make one double crochet in this stitch. Now make the turning chain, chain 2. That's one double crochet made. Next round, you have already made one double crochet, one double crochet in the next stitch. That's two double crochets and in the next stitch make one front post double crochet. One more front post double crochet in the next stitch. One double crochet in the next stitch. Now repeat this. One front post double crochet each in the next two stitches and one double crochet. At the end, you will have two stitches left. Make one double crochet each in the next two stitches. Now make the turning chain. Now keep repeating these two rounds until you reach the side needed. So this round you have already made one double crochet. In the next stitch you will make a front post double crochet. One double crochet each in the next two stitches. This is how the pattern will look. This is the front side and this is the back side. This measures around 10 inches and this side it measures around 4 inches. Now to make the button loop, fold your work in half like this and gauge the midpoint. This is the mid stitch and make one slip stitch in each stitch until you reach the midpoint. Chain 10, 
just check if the button is going to this is the button I'm using you can change the chain stitches according to the button which you are using make one slip stitch in the same stitch and continue with one slip stitch in each stitch until then and weave off your yarn You're using a yarn needles through the button on the opposite side. I've given the pattern for this part in the description box below. I hope you like this video. Please do subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.